清晨，你有一杯精品咖啡的时间吗？还在仰望那些大牌吗？还是已经在轻奢的货架里找到了自己的 style？ 有机食物是你餐桌上的主力吗？或者你家里有这样的智能居家助手吗？眼镜，实用还是凹造型？你的生活变了吗？还是你的消费升级了。Hey, You know what I'm wearing, right? Let me guess.、Sir. I have been wearing this for a couple of months. Feels great. Yeah. Bingo. 身在我现在佩戴的这个护目眼镜的公司呢 ，Felix Green 呢，就是我们今天要关注的创新企业。那介绍他给我的呢，是纽约最好的孵化器之一 ERA 的创始人 Moret。那 Moret 呢，之前呢为像索尼、松下等等大的企业管理他们的科技团队，后来呢做了投资人，创办 ERA 呢，孵化过了像 Casper 这样等一批呢优秀的企业。但这一次呢，他就给我介绍了这么一个护目眼镜的创新公司，到底它好在哪儿呢？ Um, I'm not only an investor, but I'm also a user. So <laughs> I use my Felix Grays every day. Uh, I don't know, maybe three hours. I don't know, maybe around five hours.、Uh, sometimes it's the entire evening after I finish work. I literally can't even watch television. Research is showing that there are negative effects of looking at screens, and for the first time in history, we have data of everybody looking at screens all the time. I believe in macro trends. The two main culprits behind what optometrists and ophthalmologists call digital eye strain, and that includes symptoms like dry eyes, eye fatigue, tired eyes,、uh, blurred vision, headaches. The Vision Council, which is an independent group of optometrists and ophthalmologists, They estimate that there's about 60% of the population that already reports these symptoms, which is crazy. Pretty common. No, not really. <laughs> Sometimes when I work for a long time at a computer, I feel like my eyes get tired and turn red. Oh yeah, I mean I feel it all of the time. I work in front of computer screens a lot, so whether it's an iPad, a computer, or a desktop at work. Uh, it's normally after about two and a half hours, my eyes start to feel itchy. They get red and start to tear up. 护目眼镜的概念并不新奇，但不少人始终对于它难以衡量效果的功能持保留意见。比如我，这样一个产品真的是我们生活当中有需求的吗？ Very、uh, fashionable. How do I look? There's、uh, there's no prescription in these. I've tried some of some some glasses like this these before. I ordered them online, but I never felt like they were exactly what I was looking for. So, but I feel good about these. Not expecting that these New York office workers would be interested in our Felix Grey glasses, I was quite interested. Soon after, the good ratings continued. Very nice, very relaxing, actually.、Uh, I don't have to strain as much, so I feel like I can focus on using my devices more. I don't have that kind of forehead tension sometimes I get. You know, I like them. I think these are、um, good glasses. They're a little different than the ones that I ordered before, but still, I feel like they don't really meet all of my expectations. I still feel a little tiredness in my eyes. Well,、uh, to be honest with you,、uh, it's kind of weird because I'm not used to wearing glasses every day, and to have something on my face all day was a little weird. But、uh, after a few days, I started to get used to it, and. Less pain in my eyes, no itchiness or redness, and I wasn't tearing as much as I used to. So, so yeah, I would definitely continue using them. 
，消费的需求发生了改变，从生活必需品到提升生活品质的享受品，强调品质和彰显生活态度的产品有了更为广阔的市场，这也得益于中产阶级群体的扩大和消费观念的提升。Pairs of glasses have you sell? Have I can't say that. You can't. Yeah. Over a thousand? Yeah. Over a hundred thousand? I can't say. <laughs> 对消费者而言，优质的商品不再只是精英阶层才消费得起，他们对日用品也提出了兼具品貌质感和高性价比的要求，同时逐渐放弃了对知名大牌的一味追逐，这无疑给新的消费品牌带来了机会。护目眼镜领域也涌现了众多新秀 f e l i x g r a y 的竞争力又体现在哪里呢？ We actually bought some other product. Why should I pick Felix Gray? This is easy, hands down. It's the best product. So,、mm-hmm. the lens is everything here is going to attempt to filter blue light and eliminate glare. You can filter blue light through a, a yellow tinted lens like this,、yes. um, a, a harsh yellow tint. So they'll have this clear lens. Yeah, yeah. And so what this clear lens is doing is. It's a、uh, blue light filtering coat. Coatings are ineffective, and they're filtering not the whole target wavelength. What we do at Felix Gray is our lens itself is filtering、yeah. the blue light. Yeah. Okay. This is doing it by in, by synthesizing a pigment in our eye and putting it into the lens, and then adding、oh. bleach powder to make sure that like when you're wearing this, it looks clear. It looks like a normal pair of glasses. I noticed. It's not just a pair of glasses. It also has the magnification function. Exactly. There's a, a muscle in the back of our eye called the ciliary muscle, and essentially, our eyes are at rest when we're staring 20 feet away. Adding a little bit of magnification actually reduces stress on that muscle. Second reason:、uh, our acetate is the best acetate you can use in the world. It's just it's not plastic frames. It's Premium Mazzucchelli Italian Acetate. Where did you find this material? Italian Acetate is known as the best acetate that you can you can find,、um, and we sampled you know fifty different you know suppliers. So both on the frame and the lens side, those are the two ways that we distinguish from a product standpoint in and itself. And then reason three is that we take time to. And, and work with designers and customers to figure out what looks best on all people, and we design around that. 对于新进的品牌来说，为某一类人群代言，为某种价值观和精神主张服务，成为发展的核心。顾客不仅仅是消费者，更是陪伴品牌成长的粉丝。Who are your main customers? You know, people in finance and in tech and digital marketing. We knew that honestly, it's anyone who stares at a computer all day. If you're at a big fancy hedge fund or investment bank or tech company, image does matter to a degree, as material as it sounds. When you have colleagues walking around with six hundred dollar pairs of shoes and five thousand dollar watches, <laughs> you don't. Yellow glint, yes, exactly. You want look good, and whether that's right, wrong, or different, that is the world that we live in in, in high business today, right? Where did you get the name, Felix <laughs>、sure. Gray? And so Felix actually comes from Felix Honecker when he was a famous scientist in the book, and、uh, we name all our all our frames after scientists and mathematicians. So, and if you go to our site, at the bottom of each frame page, there's a little sketch with the scientist、oh. and the bio. These are geniuses who are in. Incredibly important people in this world and moving this world forward. Our most recent frame、uh, is named after Mae Jemison, who's the ber- first、uh, black female astronaut. Also, the logo is cool. It's it's an owl.、Right? It's an owl. Yeah. It's an owl. Because owls are sophisticated, intelligent. Those are two of the feelings we want people to feel when they're wearing. It also has the benefit of having good vision.
Yeah, I am uh, originally grew up in the Bronx, went to school yeah. in Manhattan, and then went off to uh, Cornell for college. I see. Yeah. So that's why you picked New York as the place. Yes, yeah, so New York is a, the best place uh, we think in the world to build a brand. We also think that you know it's a perfect combination. We're wearing eyewear. You know, most people are wearing the eyewear in front of when they're staring at their computers all day. Wow. There's no other place in America where people are staring at their screens more than New York, and also have a good taste in fashion than New York. Thank you. Just a, a tall. A tall coffee? How did you know Chris? Yeah, Chris and I met through a mutual friend. And she said, oh, my friend is working on a, on a on glasses startup specifically for that. And he's like, really? And he had always thought that that was, you know, something that, that could have been a big market. Yeah. On, on his trading floor, they had talked about that yeah. and how it could be a big, big company. So what's your first impression about them when they submit their application to ERA? Sure. Uh, first of all, we, we are very impressed by the founders. Uh, they both have great experience and then uh, they looked really passionate about what they're doing. And the second thing is we believe that uh, combining online distribution and marketing methodologies with real physical consumer products is very promising. They started growing so fast during the program using Facebook and other channels that uh, Facebook on their quarterly earnings call with their public investors, Facebook CEO Sheryl Sandberg mentioned Felix Gray as a company that is using Facebook very, very efficiently and growing very fast. So Felix Gray was like a use case for Facebook. Oh. They are really good at um, optimizing their online um, acquisition channels. So crowdfunding was our first step in realizing if yeah. this was something or not. We were able to raise a small bit of money, uh, which basically filled our minimum order quantity requirements. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's successful to consider? We raised a very small amount of money. We only raised $20,000. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason being that we actually didn't know a lot of those things. We didn't know exactly who our suppliers were. I think it's very useful for uh, pro physical product companies. Yeah. Um, they have to have some direction. Things change a lot when you're doing crowdfunding yeah. campaigns and the earlier a company is, the less that they actually know about uh, where the future is going to go. Who got the idea to do a test in different offices? Chris and I were talking to some friends and we were thinking of good ways for us to get product into our target audience's hand and it kind of just said, well, offices, people are wearing them at work anyway, why don't I go into the office? So. How many offices did you go? We were at about 50 offices. Did you go to every single one yourself? Chris and I did, yeah. That was those office trying programs, testing product you know, with strangers that were in our customer base, or what we thought was our customer base, defining that, iterating on the product, seeing if this was something that people wanted. What did you learn from the test? We learned, one, we were using a more tinted lens, and that's something that people didn't like. So we had people enjoy the lenses and the experience that it brought. Their eyes weren't comfortable at the end of the day. Uh, they got less headaches. Their eyes were not as dry. Uh, and then the frame quality was really good, and that was really well received as well. We saw about one in five people, it was about 20%, were purchasing after the two-week period. That's talking about how to sell it. Yeah. Um, so Felix Gray is still selling on his own website. Uh, why don't you just open an Amazon account and sell it to Amazon's millions users? You know, what's really important for us right now is to control every aspect of the brand and the experience that people have as customers. So whether it's knowing to reach out to our customer service team, not Amazon's, whether it's to know, you know, going through the site and learning about what is the right lens for you or what these lenses do uh, is something that it's much harder to do on a single Amazon page. Yanjing 
，走进眼镜店 ，Prada、Chanel、Burberry、Coach 好像选择很多，但其实这么多品牌都是来自一家眼镜制造商——意大利公司 Luxottica。Ooh, flirty, classic, très fashionable, daring do. Actually, all these frames are exactly the same. It is an annual sales of more than 90 million euros, taking up the entire makeup industry's share of the total market share. This one's Prada. This one's Nada. This one's Prada. 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 Because、uh, there's a couple companies that own most of the market share, and so they're propped up. Who are the main players?、Uh, Luxottica is a main player in the market,、um, and because they have so many different brands, they're able to offer different price points,、uh, and sometimes prop up something to get them by pretty pretty great margin. Do you think that makes the industry so hard to break into? No, I think it means it's ripe for disruption. What we do is we we own our entire supply chain and we own our distribution, and we own how to、uh, you know how to market to our customers and how to acquire them, how to get in front of them. So by owning every single thing from the production to the putting the lenses into the frames to finding out who our customers are going to be to shipping to them, we're able to offer a much more affordable, honest price point. So, do you think that actually creates some of the opportunities for companies like like you? Our goal is, you know, we want to offer an honest price point, but our goal is eye health in the digital age, and that's what we're here to do. Gray呢，只是呢，很多看重这个机会的勇敢者之一。而从这个案例身上，我们也可以学到啊。首先，他们抓住了一个特定的人群，他们特定的痛点。另外呢，在抓住首批用户的时候，他们是走到这个人群比较的集中的公司去进行了推广和测试。除此之外呢，在销售模式上也做了一些创新，对我应该说呢，还是有不少启发的。那 Felix Gray 呢？刚刚完成了新一轮的融资，开始了自己创业路上的又一段旅程。上期的创业美国节目，我们为大家介绍了从硅谷火遍全球的机器人教育公司罗伯泰拉。有粉丝好奇，在设计产品时，他们有没有考虑过产品寿命的问题？罗伯泰拉又是如何提高客户的持续购买欲呢？让我们来听听华人女 CEO 张瑶的回答吧。呃，对于罗伯泰拉自己的设设计原则来讲呢，呃，我们的核心设计原则一直都是为，呃，孩子们或者学习者。呃，让他们的学习效率更高，让他们更享受这样一个过程。所以说，那么以学习者的需求作为我们的设计原则呢，在这个基础之上，随着我们呃的这个产品的推陈出新，那么新的迭代，我们对于产品寿命的考虑也是以学习者的需求为出发点。那么在接下来呢，从今年秋季开始，我们基本上会以每一个学期会以两到三款新产品这样的速度。关于 Felix Gray 还有哪些经验秘诀？看过本期节目，你是否还有问题想要请教他们的创始人呢？搜索“创业美国”微信公众号，在文章下给我们留言，他们就有可能会在下期节目回答你的问题哦。健康死角还是营销骗局？扫码关注三成视频，并发送关键词“眼镜”，我们为你科普总结无处不在的蓝光危机。八月超美会员月来啦！除了可以低价购买我在喜马拉雅 FM 的精品栏目十大顶级富豪每日必读，更重要的是，我们的专属会员群正式升级，你将有机会免费参与专家互动，收听我的财经语音辣评，获得顶级付费媒体的英文原文阅读，参与会员内部交流分享会，并有十大行业专家顾问团解惑、不定期抽奖等八重惊喜福利。扫描二维码关注创业美国官方微博，更多详情随时。送上哦。